trying to show off to that you got pregnant. Even if your village people say you will never get pregnant and you decide to get pregnant. Do you have to provoke them? Your friend, you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never this video i'm in the car i have an appointment and i got here i still have time and i said let me do this video because it's getting really really on my nerves and annoying okay the topic of today's video is the craze about a pregnancy photo shoot there's a pregnancy photo shoot i saw on facebook i am going to be leaving it somewhere here on the right and on the left um that i saw and i'm like my gender when are we gonna like where do we draw the line between madness and um, excitement. So I'm a mother. I have I have four children, and as a mother, I think that what our children are being exposed to by other fellow women and mothers out there, there are a lot of things right now in our world today that women are doing. Is it the butt lift? Is it the breast uh, surgery to get big boobs? Is it the pregnancy photo shoots? Pregnancy, trust me, is a blessing from God. But where do you draw the line? I saw this pregnancy photo shoot and I, I was thinking to myself, if this person is my sister or if this person is my brother's wife or this person is a friend, how would I feel if I see my brother's wife take a picture? If you took it for your private consumption, it's a different ball game. But if you take such kind of provocative picture as a mother, are you thinking about what your child, that child you're carrying in your womb, you don't know who, what that child is going to turn out to tomorrow. Then you as a mother, you take such kind of pictures and you put it on social media. Please, my gender, where do we draw the line? I want other mothers, what is your opinion about pregnancy photo shoots? I am in for pregnancy photo shoots, but I believe that it is something there are some that you can let out on the public. The, I, uh, I put a video of um, Ekene when she did hers. You could see how modest she covered her body. She did a photo shoot about uh, Mother Mary. Because if you know Ekene, you know she's a stunned Catholic. So she did this photo shoot. Very modest, very beautiful to watch to the eyes. You could watch it and say a prayer for this woman. There are some that when you see... You are just like to fear what you could hold your. Where do we draw the line, my gender? Where do we draw the line? Or is it the now in Nigeria you can't even tell who has a real bot and who has a fake bot? Because now it is now in vogue for people to have a big bomb bomb. And I asked myself and I asked a lot of people that I have this conversation with. I said, You're doing bomb bomb or you're doing any body augmentation. You've never had a child. Like, I used to be somebody that I wasn't curvy. I didn't have a butt. I didn't have a breast when I was younger. But the moment I finish having my children, if I show you my backside, you'll be asking when. Some people think, when do what happen? That's what happens when you become a mother. Actually, when you finish having your babies and your body is now deciding to remold itself. It's sad to see that all these women or all these women or mothers that have not had children, they have not gone through childbirth, their body have not changed and they have gone ahead and done both, done tummy. Some of the both are so disgusting to watch. I'm going to like, I've had it enough as a mother and as a mother that has daughters. I don't know about every other mother, but I'm talking for me as a mother with young teenage daughters and they are watching this on social media. They are seeing this. What do you explain to them? You as a mother, me as a mother, if I post a provocative picture, breast outside, just holding, barely holding the nipples, barely holding your VJJ, and you post it on social media, are you thinking about the negative impact it have on your children? Sometimes the kids are bullied. You don't know who is seeing that picture. Maybe a friend, um, a classmate of your child might see that picture on social media and pick on your child. Then tomorrow you say they are bullying your child or somebody is picking on your child. But it is what you put on social media. When my daughter came to me and said, Mommy, my friends watch your YouTube videos and they are so proud. I'm so proud when they tell me, Oh, your mom, I watch your mom's YouTube video. I'm like, Oh, but your friends don't have to watch my videos. And my daughter is like, But it's on social media. If you have an account, 
you can always watch anything on social media. So please, my gender, please, I'm begging you guys. From a sister to a sister, from a mother to a mother. We are excited for you that you're pregnant. You can come out, wear clothes, cover yourself and show us a uh, pregnancy bump. We will say congratulations. But I know a lot of people, even YouTubers, that have come to do pregnancy announcement and do a uh, baby photo shoot and they end up losing those babies. I know like one or two that when they got pregnant for the second time, they didn't want to share anything. They only shared when the baby was here. These are some of the negative impact. You don't know who is saying a good prayer for you or who is saying a bad prayer for you. People only have access to what you tell them or what you let them know about you. So where do we draw the line between excitement and constituting public nuisance on social media? Yes, right now I'm talking like a big sister because I can't deal with it anymore. I saw this photo shoot. She even did. Yes, they said, okay, your husband, even if, if her husband accepts it, it's okay. But what of your child? What of the society? What of the school your child go to? What of the friends that your child have that will see this picture? Not today, in 10 years time, social media never forgets. What would, what, what would you say? You were excited. You go and delete the picture. People that will screenshot it have already screenshotted it and saved. Like I have the screenshot of this picture and I don't have the, I don't know the lady. But when I saw this photo shoot of a pregnancy photo shoot, I was disgusted for my gender. And I said, where do we draw the line? When is enough enough? Who are you trying to pepper? Who are you trying to show off to that you got pregnant? Even if your village people say you will never get pregnant and you decide to get pregnant. Do you have to provoke them? Anything can happen. The fact that a child is here does not guarantee anything. Anything can happen. Let's be mindful of what we put out on social media. Let's be mindful on what we do. I watched a video where somebody was saying, yes, I did a butt lift uh, because it's not for men or it's not for anybody. It's just so that my confidence or when I wear cloth, the cloth, will sh the shape of the cloth will show. Like really, tell yourself the truth. The Okay then, it's good. It's better here. That's all. Okay then, thank you. Yeah. So where do we draw the line? You're telling me, oh, you're not doing it to pepper guys, but you're doing it to pepper your follow sister. Maybe I see you. I know you don't have a butt, and tomorrow I saw that you have this hourglass figure. I'm going to look at you as a woman and say, oh damn, she looks beautiful. Oh, she looks good. So you're not doing it for you. Because you're not looking at yourself and telling yourself you look. You're not looking at yourself. It's other women or other men that are going to look at you and say, oh, she looks nice or it looks nice or it looks ugly or it's improportional. There's this or another social media person. Like her butt is, God, sometimes I watch it. I say, hey, God, my generation, when are we going to stop? Yeah, so this way I'm going to end it here. It's not going to be a long video. Um, I just wanted to drop this here. Enough for mothers and not for sisters okay guys so till i come to your screen again my name is wendy god bless you and bye